I mean, obviously in the in the early stages, but looking forward to working with Jaden and Jake as well in the room. Um, obviously, that room has to be strong for, in order for us to be good on offense. So I'm um, definitely looking forward to working together. Any sort of reaction when, when Jaden transferred in? I know you've been used to, to, to competing. Was it just another kind of, you know, got to go earn my spot again, that sort of thing? Yeah, no. I mean, not a, not a huge reaction either way. Um, obviously, people love to, to speculate about that kind of stuff, but... As I've said before, like my job is to help us win as many games as we can, so that's that's what I'm going to continue to do. What prep goes into having Jonah at center and just having a new body there? Yeah, I mean Jonah's a super cerebral guy, so um, he makes it easier on on a lot of us. Um, obviously, like he hasn't played the position before. Brett actually has come back and, and getting ready and and helped him a little bit, which has been cool to see. And um, those guys play pretty similarly. They're both really really intelligent. So um, Jonah's definitely coming coming along. I think he's gonna be really good there. Um, just happy to have a really intelligent guy take some stuff off of me. So. <laughs> How has this offseason been for you versus the others? Obviously, there's going to be a lot of change with you now being in the position you are. Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely different. Um, I'm excited to see kind of what a team looks like when I'm able to really put put my DNA on it. Um, trying to grow in that leadership role and learn learn kind of different things each and every day. Um, just talking with Lincoln and, um, and, yeah, just trying to lead the team as best I can. Excited to see what we become. Did that all kind of start with the PRPs just this off season? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the the training sessions as well as the PRPs, like there's a there's a huge opportunity for leadership, especially when we're doing really difficult workouts with, with Wiley and stuff. And I think obviously the PRPs go into that as well. So. What's it been like building rapport with Luke Heward? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love Coach Heward. I mean, obviously he comes from a very quarterback-centric family, so um, he speaks our language, so to speak. Uh, but great to have a guy that's been in the system that knows knows our stuff, and also like he's coach wide receivers, so we get we get the intel on what the receivers are being told. So um, definitely super unique, and he's been great. He had us over for a barbecue and stuff like that. He's a cool dude. His pickleball skills need a little improvement, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's he's been great. I really enjoy working with him so far. Are there things off the field that you and Jonah work on just to kind of get on the same page with the connection you have to have? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we'll watch we'll watch film all the time, especially like on, on pass pro stuff. Like I want to know why he's calling certain things, like for certain fronts. I won't get into it too much, but um, we definitely uh, devote a ton of time to, to that kind of stuff. What have you seen from Woody Mark so far? Right there? Yeah, super talented kid, obviously. Um, really natural hands. Um, obviously, it's practice one. We don't have that many run schemes in so far, but uh, hit a couple holes today. It looked really good, so excited to see kind of how he evolves. With Luke named the, the quarterback coach, have you seen Lincoln operate You know, maybe a little bit differently, spread, his, you know, spread around a variety of, of areas, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Coach Riley wants the latitude to be a head coach, and, and he definitely has that opportunity more so now. So I'm um, happy for him, but not going to let him get too far. Did you, did you see Jacoby get a lot of opportunity last year until really the end when he had that huge bowl game? What did you see of his just growth through the season, the, the ways that he got better and developed and people said here? Sorry, last year or this offseason? Last year. Yeah. Or, or um, both, both I mean, obviously, like, the talent from him was obvious. I think the, the biggest thing with him was was really spending time learning the playbook, learning how to be in a college program. You know, like a lot of times guys come from high school, it's a huge jump, like you gotta go to class, you gotta go work out. Um, but I think the talent was obvious from day one and it was just getting him on board with everything that comes with being a visual athlete. And he couldn't be a, a better kid, a more diligent kid, a more hardworking kid. I'm really proud of him and how far he's come and how far he's gonna go. You finished the season the way you did. How, how did that help you kind of move into the off season with confidence to go? Your spot as the starting quarterback. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it helped the team as a whole. Obviously, when you finish the previous year on a high note, it kind of boosts you into the off season. So I think we're all, we just as a team are are uh, looking forward to building off that that momentum. Miller, you said you're looking forward to, to kind of you know putting your DNA on this team. What, yeah. what does a team with Miller Moss's DNA look like? I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. Without wanting to give too much away, I, I'm, we're still obviously going to see what that looks like. But um, really excited about the the culture that's coming together. I think we have a lot of hardworking guys in that room, um, a lot of guys that are team centric. So um, we'll see what that evolves into. How, how has life changed for you since the bowl game? Being out in public, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I have night classes, so I'm good. But <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I mean it's it's been it's been nice. But I, I mean at the end of the day, like. None of that stuff really matters. Like we're here to we're here to win games, and that stuff is nice. And like if you can, if I can be in a position to inspire younger kids or whatever it may be, um, make people happier, then that's that's all good and nice. But at the end of the day, we're here to win games. Do you remember? Lincoln mentioned the, the 
the depth on the line is a little bit of a concern. How have you seen kind of the young guys step up? Do you have faith, you know, in those guys and kind of elevating their roles? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we had a really talented freshman O-line class this past year with Amos, Alani, and Micah. Um, Micah obviously got hurt, but is coming back from that. So I think there's a huge opportunity for those guys to really grow and continue to step up. Um, a bunch of them are going to play huge roles as we go through the season. So excited to see how they grow and develop. Thank you, Miller. Thank you, guys. How's it going?